researchers in the United Kingdom say the species, dubbed Chilisaurus diagajuerzi, explains how some theropods, mostly meat-eating, bipedal dinosaurs, evolved into the herbivorous, long-necked ornithischians. If future research confirms this finding, this would make Chilisaurus the earliest member of Ornithischia, a group that includes the armored dinosaurs, such as Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus, as well as horned dinosaurs, such as Triceratops. But not everyone is on board with this interpretation. Rather, more grunt work is needed to determine Chilsaurus' true identity, said Thomas Carr, an associate professor of biology at Carthage College in Wisconsin and a vertebrate paleontologist. Carr was not involved in the study. This isn't the first time Chilisaurus has turned heads. In 2010, seven-year-old Diego Suarez, the son of two geologists, found the 145-million-year-old beast in southern Chile's Toqui formation. After Diego found the first specimen, excavations in Chile yielded more than a dozen Chilisaurus individuals, including four complete skeletons that ranged from turkey-sized young dinosaurs to nearly 10-foot-long, 3-meters, adult dinosaurs. But despite the abundance of fossils, Chilsaurus anatomy was a real head-scratcher. The creature looked like a mixture of lineages. It had the long neck, small skull, and clunky feet of a sauropodomorph, a group of long-necked, herbivorous dinosaurs with lizard-like hips, the beak, teeth, and pubic bone of an herbivorous, bird-hipped ornithischian, and the bipedal stance, robust forelimbs, and ilium, the upper part of the pelvic bone, of a meat-eating theropod. However, not everyone was satisfied with Chilsaurus classification as a theropod. Earlier this year, Barron and his colleagues stunned dinosaur researchers when they published a study revising the dinosaur family tree. According to their analyses, theropods and ornithischians were more closely related than previously thought. Barron wanted to see where Chilisaurus fit on the new family tree. So he reached out to Fernando Novas, a paleontologist at the Bernardino Ribadavia Natural Sciences Museum in Buenos Aires, Argentina, who was the lead researcher on the 2015 Nature Study. Novas provided data on Chilisaurus to Baron and study co-lead researcher Paul Barrett, a paleobiologist at the Natural History Museum in London. Once Baron and Barrett had Chilisaurus information, they plugged it into their enormous data set, which has data on the earliest dinosaurs on record. Gory Guts, photos of a T-Rex autopsy, Chilisaurus came out as basically the first diverging member of one of the major groups, which is a position that had never been suggested before, Barron told Live Science. It was a bit of a surprise. However, evolution is a long, complicated process. There are ornithischians that are older than the late Jurassic Chilisaurus, but they likely evolved from earlier theropods, Barron said. The fossils of these older, transitional creatures have yet to be found, he said. It's difficult to say which interpretation is correct that is, whether Chilisaurus is a theropod or an early member of Ornithischia, Carr said. There's only one way out of this conundrum, Carr said, all of these data sets have to be combined so researchers can determine, once and for all, where Chilisaurus fits a task that can't be completed unless all of the relevant and available data from the Mesozoic is used. Even though the family trees are different, it's possible to combine the data sets of the early dinosaurs that Baron used and the sauropodomorpha and later theropod data sets that Novas and his colleagues used, Carr noted. Baron accepted the critique in stride. That's genius because that's exactly what we need to do, Baron said. And that's exactly what I am doing at the moment. Combining data sets is arduous work and could take four or five years to complete, Baron said. But the end result would shine a light on dinosaur evolution, which is a valuable step forward because we actually are finding we know less and less about dinosaur evolution, Baron said. Photos, newfound tyrannosaur had nearly three-inch long teeth, if that's the case, then the discussion on Chilsaurus relationships has just begun, Novas told Live Science. However, I welcome the novel interpretation by Baron and Barrett, because it promotes a necessary debate on poorly known aspects of dinosaur evolution as a whole, Novas said.
The new study was published online today, August 16, in the journal Biology Letters. Original article on Live Science.